everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Before I forget, I want to wish you all a very happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day. It's the end of the day, but it's still Mother's Day, and it's Mother's Day every day, especially if you've got children and little fur pets and nieces and nephews and godchildren, and you're a mom almost every day of the year. In fact, you are a mom every day of the year. I want to show you what I got from my one daughter, Jessica, and my son-in-law, Ryan. Yesterday, Ryan called, and it wasn't to go riding on the four-wheeler like Jim maybe thought. It was basically to discuss why Jessica cannot get unemployment or hasn't gotten unemployment. And the thing is, she's a self-employed person, and when you're self-employed, unless you give yourself an income... You don't show an income, so she's going to have to do, going to have to call to get things straightened out. Uh, the government, the, the federal government, said that even, even self-employed should be able to get unemployment. Right. And so, um, well, let me show what I got. So we'll see. Hopefully she gets, this is what I got. Mm. Isn't this, this, this is, I put it on a, on a, uh, it's a cover to a cake pan, since I don't bake cakes. But isn't this adorable? It's pansies inside. And it looks they look they look sort of like wood and spots and then it looks like paper. This is really a unique planter. I well, love it. Why'd you put it on the cake pan? Well because when it was it's got a plastic thing inside there that when you water it, this was showing dampness and I didn't want the dampness to go on the floor so the cake pan is like those plastic things that you buy or cake cover cake cake cover is like those plastic things you buy that you put underneath plants but it's got it feels it's got wire holding it together shoelaces it's adorable i just love it i'm, I'm going to try and make something like this i don't know if i can or not but it'll do it but i'll try it won't look as nice. This is this is absolutely gorgeous. But anyways, I hope you all had a real good Mother's Day. Those are my plans. And last year I got um, pansies from Brianna and um, Cheyenne and Alex and Pat. I had gotten pansies and I kept them alive all the way until maybe a month ago I kept them alive and it's not easy to keep pansies alive because pansies like to die off there's there they don't come they might there are some that will come up every year but it's rare the ones that you get from the greenhouses usually don't come up every year well, these are annuals or, yeah so you have to plant them every year um to this morning when I went to feed the chickens what a fiasco I caught some of it, but I didn't catch it. I wish I would have caught the one. I went to get the camera, but the camera, because I leave it plugged in to charge, it. I, when I unplug it, I have to turn it off, and it takes it a few seconds to turn off, and then I have to push the record. And by the time I get all that done, the birds have flown. They flew off. I had the rooster, silver fox, and Rosie. <laughs> yeah, little Rosie. Up on the dog panel all at one time and by the time I got the camera on it was just Rosie still was up there and then she flew down into the into the um, fenced run area and in you went <laughs> hey babies hey, yeah, Dorothy's the only one that you can pick up still that one I think is a boy, sweetie. That one that's real fluffy looking wet the whites. I think that's a boy. My puppy. Yeah, but I think that one's a boy. I really do. Ooh, it's got a short tail. Boy, it's cold out here. I don't have I've got my sleeves up. You got a sweatshirt on. And in you went. Just missed silver up there. Rosie, get down. Oh, there you are. You have to go back in. 
Come on. And go back in here. Silver. In. And the rooster was up there just a second ago. Hold on, I'm getting your food. Pretty boy, put yourself back down. No, no. And in you went. Come on, Silver. Back in. What are you up there for? How about scooching down? That's right. What do you all want? You want a treat? Is that what you're waiting for? I don't know what time it is. I gotta go see. Before I could get the food, there was Silver. Silver flew up, and then, uh, and then Mama Dorothy flew up, and it was like, my goodness. And what it was is they wanted their food. They can see me when I'm getting the food, but they were like rushing me, and so I had to open the door and and say go back in. Then Silver actually came out, and I had to open the door and let her walk in. And then um, she went out on the opposite side later in the day. And then Jim tells me that she can get herself back in. Apparently, if she goes out the other side, not by the house, she can get herself back in. But if she comes in on the side that is the house, it's like she walks back and forth like she doesn't know how to get back in. So that was what happened today. And then it sprinkled a little bit. They're all outside gathering worms. They... Um, seem to get more bugs when we have a little bit of rain, but I don't like the rain. And it's cold again today, but it's not as cold as it's been. It's supposed to start to warm up, but it's still pretty chilly. I think Old Man Winter talked um, Mother Nature into not warming us up as quick as she should. Because the winter was so mild, Old Man Winter doesn't want to let go, and he wants to keep on freezing us. But I'm hoping that my, um, um, the lady <laughs> forgot Mother her Nature. name, Mother Nature. Mother Nature, I forgot. of course, yeah. Mother's Day. And she should, she should just say, "Go away, old man, winter, and let us have spring and summer, and let her rule for a while. Old man, winter can rule later when it gets later in the season." Well, that's about it for today about old man, Mother winter, and Mother Nature. I guess um, I hope you all had a great day, and we'll talk to you all again tomorrow. Bye-bye.